So recently someone in the Go High Level group was asking how to set up a one-time stripe charge for a paper show model. So I created this video here that walked you through how to set up this whole thing. In today's video, in this video right here, I wanna actually show you how it works, show you the demo of me actually doing the whole process. Let me show you how the whole thing works. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out, okay? So what I have on the screen would be uh, your client's sub account in high level okay so you have let's say you have an inside sales team calling clients leads they transfer a call live to your client or uh they had they booked an appointment or an appointment showed up what have you um we're going to trigger that workflow by sliding the, that particular lead over to let's say this it was a live transfer now what's going to happen if you remember the workflow that we had set up in our client's sub account is going to send a text message with that keyword and the person's name over to our agency account so if we hop on over to our agency account all right this is our it says test testing this would be your client's name the phone number that we have here would be your client's twilio number that's how you want to save that okay so now you can see uh, it's 102, it's 103 right now, uh, 102, Christy just came over, that's the one we just sent over, um, and if I go over to additional info to look at the custom fields, we're going to see, let me refresh this, the custom fields, we're going to see a few things, right, we're going to see the total live transfers, so this is our total counters, one so far, our Stripe customer ID is in here, and then our test, our counter uh, is right here. So every five, this is gonna reset back to zero, and then go again. So let's go back to our sub account, uh, add Ryan over here, and just for the sake of saving time, um, let's do a couple at a time here, just to see. Okay, we have Ryan, and then Lewis should come over. There he is right there. I'm gonna hit refresh for additional info, and then we can see we have a total of three, right? So we have those three that we just moved over, and I'm gonna move Sam over, and then the last one is gonna be this one here. Go to additional info. Now we can see um, total life transfer is five, total charge 645. That's what we had set up in the workflow. Um, I wanted to test it out with Stripe, so the Stripe charge actually changed it to $1. Uh, so let's go and see if that actually went through. So I'm gonna go to my automation, and then I'm gonna click on history. And Stripe one-time charge, it said it was executed. I'm gonna click on more details. Customer was charged $1. And if I go to Stripe, hit the refresh button here, I can see right here, $1 live transfer, five lead bundle. Okay, so we have our total life transfers being at five, the amount that we charged them, and then our counter restarted back to zero. So let's uh, try this again. And what we'll do is just um, slide, just use the same ones for now. Okay, so let's test it out. We're gonna move uh, Christy over. So total life transfers is six. Our test counter is one. Let's move the next one over. Ryan. There's Ryan. Let's refresh this screen. Total life transfer is seven. Test counter is two. Let's move Sam over. Surab over. Let's hit the refresh button. Make sure our count is at four. Okay, so now we have a total of nine live transfers. Count is at four. The next one should uh, make that charge go through. So if I move Lewis over here like this. Let's wait for Lewis to pop through. Boom, there's Lewis. I'm gonna hit refresh. Okay, so we have a total of 10 live transfers. Uh, the count went back to zero, right? You can see test counter is blank, right? So we reset that and total charged 1294. So we added the two 645s. And if I go over to Stripe, refresh this page. There's my second live transfer charge. So that's how it works. This does not work in test mode, so you cannot you cannot use a test stripe 
customer ID. It's got to be a live customer. So uh, let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and help me get the word out by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel, and be sure to hit that notification bell. That way you can get updated every time we upload a new video.